In Luke 15, the prodigal son, when he came back from that, far, that city that he went to far away, what did his father do? He put on a new garment. Do you realize? Now I'm talking about the garment. Why did he put on the new garment? Who is this new garment? The garment of the son. Psalm 45, 8. And from the garments come out myrrh, aloes, and cassia. He put on the garment of his beloved son on that prodigal son, meaning the fragrance of life. You were living in a faraway city. You were living in sin, in death. I brought you out and I put on the garment of my beloved son. What is white? This is the garment of Christ, righteousness, the smell of life, because this is the dress for the eternal life. So the garment represents eternal life and that garment we receive through the sacrament of the holy baptism. And what is holy baptism? I am crucified with Christ, buried with Christ and resurrected in Christ. It is crucifixion, death, burial and resurrection. So through the son's sacrifice, I received the garment of fragrances, eternal life. Baptism is born again, giving you a new life from above, eternal one, not temporal, a spiritual birth. How was I dressed up in this fragrance? Because his love on the cross made me drunk, my beloved. By his death on the cross, covered me with the dress of heaven, eternal life. Psalm 45, 8, all your garments are scented with myrrh, aloes, and cassia. When he dressed me up with himself, he gave me his name. You who have been baptized into Christ, put on the Christ. Galatians 3.27 you who have been baptized into Christ, put on the Christ. Who is the Christ? That garment, that eternal life, the smell of life, the fragrances which are eternal life. So when he covered me with himself, he gave me his name. He gave me his name. And with his name, I step on everything and conquer every other power. Fear nothing, fear no one, but love everyone, but fear no one. Love everyone, but fear no one. So when they behave in a foolish way, you can call them out. Even if that person is a president, I'll say, the way you behaved just proves you're nothing. But I'll pray for you that by the mercy of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he makes you one day and soon enough something out of nothing.